Hey guys, so we're going to do a little animal introduction today. Behind me here we've got our chicken coop. Uh, that's been built a little while ago. So let me introduce you to all our chickens. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to have to keep the door closed just so the dog doesn't get in. He likes to come around and torment them. Here's our chickens. So we've got a couple of roosters, a couple of hens. Uh, here we've got four hens, um, just Isa Browns that we got not too long ago. All having something to eat. Inside here, we've got our little home. We're able to make use of the um, that nesting box there. That was the old kitchen out of the house. You can see that we've got a broody hen down the bottom there. No eggs at the moment. We'll come back a bit later. Oh, actually, there's one. Nearly stepped on him. Whoa. Let's grab him. Don't know why he's doing out. One of them must have laid it on the ground. That would have been a bit awkward right in the doorway. Here's our big boy, Rui. He's in charge of the shop. Uh, we've got a couple of other roosters here. Um, so we've got this one here, a uh, bit younger than Rui. Any other roosters inside there? No, the other one, he's over here. There are our chickens. What we've done here, we've made it nice and secure, um, making sure that no uh, snakes or anything can get in. So we've actually got wire in the top here. We've sealed it all together with some silicon and then also some zip ties just to hold all that together. And around all the sides here, that's all been screwed in. So the end top uh, is completely sealed in. So any snakes that get in underneath the, the roof lining itself will be blocked by this. Uh, and we actually ran, you can't see it, underneath all the um, uh, stuff that we put down on the ground. But we've got all concrete around the outside that's holding all of that in. So to make sure nothing can get in. So this is nice and secure. What we will do though, is we'll fix the door up. Um, just to make sure that that's holding. Because at the moment, you'll see if you close it. It's just a screen door um, with some metal on it. We'll put some colour bond fencing over the top of that just to hold it in. Yeah, looks like the doors come open so the dog's in and some of the chickens are out. What we've found though is that some things have come in at night and tried to get into this outside area. So I'll show you over here. We've reinforced it with some zip ties here just because the original um, metal uh, uh, wire that was holding it together has been pushed through by an animal at night. So we actually came out the following morning and it was done on this side as well. So a couple of areas where they try to get in. This outside bit um, also got a roof on top here uh, to make sure that no hawks or anything like that can swoop down and take any of the chickens. So a pretty secure little area. Okay, so next on the list we've got some little chicks here. Um, these are only little fellas. Hopefully all hens. Um, tried our best to pick out the hens because we didn't want the roosters. They've still got a heat lamp that they hop under. Uh, this is an old cage that we had for, I think we had it for one of the rabbits or something. Making good use out of it. When they're old enough, they'll be moved into an outside box. Um, again, with the heat lamp and everything. Before they're big enough to actually go out with all the other chickens. If we let them out when they're too young, um, they'll just get attacked. When the pecking order comes through, <coughs> yeah, got to make sure that these ones stay safe. This is Buster. Uh, old, old dog, not doing too well. Um, all he does is bark all day, likes to bark at things. We think he might be a bit blind. He's um, permanently chained up now. We keep him on a chain, we let him run down out into the grass and then back up, sit undercover. Doesn't do too much other than that. If we let him go any further, we probably wouldn't see him again. Last on the list, we've got Sasha, our pup. Uh, she would be six months old now, Marima. So she's designed to look after herds. Um, that's what Marimas are for. So while she's a pet, she stays as an outdoor dog, gets locked up in a cage each night to make sure she doesn't go wandering too far. But eventually we'll leave her out here with the other animals. When we get ourselves some sheep and um, goats and more chickens, she'll stay out here and protect them all from any wild animals, foxes, anything like that that come around. They're a big dog and that's what they're designed to do to protect. Not all that obedient at the moment. Likes to run around, do her own thing. 
but she'll be a good dog. So, that's our animals. Bye guys.